Hey, we're making chowder. Not and bad. if that's not enough, not Boston, not Boston for you. We're doing it with beer, which is even better. This is uh, Chef Matt Dean Pettit joining us in the studio. Thank you. Nice to see you. Hi. And uh, lobster, I think a lot of people feel quite intimidated about cooking lobster. I, I know I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's something that, you know, I think it's uh, generally whether it's the price point, you know, how to cook it. Uh, when to eat it, when to buy it, as we talked about off camera. You know, it's, it can be very intimidating for people. So that's why we brought out this book. book. Yeah. Uh -huh, to de demystify it and. Totally. Take, take away the pretentiousness and demystify, like you say, and, you know, show pairings and like recipes that we're doing today with beer. And seafood should be fun. You guys are on the West Coast. I'm from Toronto. Uh, we're a little landlocked, but you have beautiful, beautiful seafood out here. So let's celebrate it. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. All right, what are we doing today? Okay, so we are, uh, well, I'm getting I a beautiful mm -hmm. lobster sort of uh, steam bath yeah, over here. I wish you could smell this. this <laughs> yeah, great. it does smell pretty good, right? It's a lobster. So what I did is, yeah, so it's a lobster stock. So essentially you want to put all of your shells, you want to sweat them down. So a little bit of butter, take the water, sweat them down. You can put onions, carrots, celery, and then sort of get that flavor. You want to reduce that. Mm -hmm. Keep the shells. You can use very compost or something. So we've taken a step ahead. We've taken our lobster meat. Beautiful thing of Power TV. Mm -hmm. So you have beautiful lobster meat. We've got some uh, beautiful Yukon potatoes that you just put into a cube, a little inch cube. So we'll go right in. Okay. Yeah. So, this is how I like my seafood, already <laughs> shelled and ready that's to go. Right. You're a lazy seafood <laughs> yeah, eater, that's me. That's okay. <laughs> hey, you know what? We need people like you in my restaurants. <laughs> that's right. This so, is true, yeah. <laughs> please, we will do this for you. We'll take, we'll take away that step. <laughs> it's a deal. So from there, we want to move into the corn, if you want to pass me that. Okay. You guys can be my lovely sous chefs today. Yes, mm -hmm. Thank you. So we're going to go corn right in. I just turned up the heat a little bit. How long does it take to get the stock? So the stock, you're going to, you want that to be about 45 minutes, 50 minutes. Mm -hmm. You really want to get that lobster flavor, and then essentially, you just strain it off and so you're removing all the big pieces and you're left with that great broth right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so from there what you can do the nice thing is you talked about having lobster like this you can keep that and have your bowls laid out and just individually put this lobster in the bottom of the bowl and spoon over the over soup. the top oh. over the top oh, okay. so that way yeah. you know mom's at home she's not complaining she didn't get enough lobster <laughs> or you know <laughs> equal cousin, share, equal for share yeah. yeah cousin tina everyone's happy right. around the table right so we'll keep that you know and we'll lay that out but i just wanted to show so it wouldn't be chowder without heavy cream. Heavy cream, wow. right? Yeah. So I like to add a little bit less. Again, this is the West Coast. You're a little more healthier than we are, <laughs> say, in Ontario, in my opinion. So we'll start with a little less, and we can always work forward. Uh, alternatively, too, you can thicken everything. A good thing that we do in my restaurants, Rock Lobster, is we thicken everything with cornstarch, making it gluten-free as opposed to flour. Then right. you don't have to put as much cream then? Or? Exactly, because right. the, the starch, the cornstarch, in a little slurry. Thickens so it up. thickens yeah. it right up, right? A right. uh, little bit of pepper there, please. A little bit of pepper. Thank there you, you are, sir. sir. Mm -hmm. so we'll do one of these, make it official. We've got beautiful uh, kosher salt, little pinch, again to taste, cayenne pepper, it's going to hit you on the back end. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have our lobster meat, and if you don't mind passing me a little bit of that Samuel Adams beer. That you poured earlier? I did, okay. yes. yeah, that was uh -huh. not a drowned product, that was a, a good pour. So now, what does the beer do for the chowder? So, you, this is called the Boston Lager Chowder, as yeah. you said, right? Very Boston. I want to always just give it a little bit of richness, a little more caramel notes, a little bit of hoppiness, you're going to get that backbone. Uh, obviously, the beer and the alcohol is going to burn off. So well, you'd let that sit. Beer is one of the essential food groups, me, John. Yeah, so really, yeah, of course. Yeah. Really, How yes. could I yeah. forget? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So that's going to just reduce. We're all ready to go. How long does it take then? I would put that on a low heat and just simmer, reduce it a little bit, and you're about 45 minutes again. So, so it doesn't take fun. that long. A bit of prep work, but it's, prep it's work. good you're using yeah. the shells. And, and then, everything. as you said, you can put the lobster in and then just right over top exactly. of it. Exactly, exactly. You know, this is the finished product. We've also got a couple other ones here to make seafood and lobster fun. That is a lobster bacon wrap scallop. Ooh, Smoked bacon. Good. Yeah, delicious. Absolutely delicious. So you've delicious. got a little bit of lobster in there and scallop. It, exactly. Yep. And then you can put that in the broiler, get a nice crisp. First, you want to bake that. And then you have a lobster... Uh, Oysters Rockefeller, so essentially Ooh. simple classic oysters Rockefeller dish. So spinach, a little bit of Parmesan Reggiano. We like to torch that in the restaurant table side. So we show up with a blowtorch to your table <laughs> and we torch it. Again, we eat with our eyes, right? It's all about having fun. So you guys yes, smile. Yeah, we I have probably fun have a blowtorch somewhere Good I can pull out. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Thanks for go. coming out. My pleasure. Book, book is uh, obviously available. Uh, it is, yeah. yeah fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, well, guys. Welcome to the restaurant you. out here, will you? Thank you. I know I'd love this. Is, I've got some family out here. My Good. grandfather's probably watching, so. Good stuff. Dad, Mike, and Mitzi, how are you? Good right. stuff. Chef, thanks awesome for coming in. Thank you.